You in trouble? Yeah. Yeah? Anyone else in trouble? Anyone we need to be looking for? Not anymore. Well, you don't seem much up for a hike. My dad said if anything happened to him, I should find someone I can trust. Are you someone I can trust? So for this next sequence, we will start at the same place. When she spots the smoke over here and says, Ben, we will take the dialogue up to deploy shelters and people start taking their packs off. You know, I might let it go as far as you take this out of your pack and throw packs downhill. These are like up to what is it, like a thousand degrees? Yeah, but, but, all, but only for like a couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah a couple of seconds. 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 You're hoping the fire flashes over you. Yeah, yeah. And then if, if, it, if it stays and holds, you're... In this you're situation, done. there's like too much fuel. Yeah, you're, you're done. Reality. You'd be... Two steps off. Two steps off. There you go. And you get something like this, and you can start just opening. You can peel it open. Peel it open. Shake it. And climb in. It really does look like a <laughs> Deep breath. Glasses. Yeah. Two cameras, two cameras. Look at that. Those cameras, those monsters. Here we go. Here we go. What do you want me to do here, dude? So, Will. I'm there. We learned this in school. Burn effect. Electricity in the air. Oh. Oh. Come on. <laughs> hey, let it out. 
Let it out. All right. All right. No, no, no. All right, all right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. 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 All right, let it out. Let it out. You don't. You're passing an imaginary mark, and then I'm sending him. Okay, so maybe can we move that mark. It's moved. Yes. Let's 
stop. How many people stay in those? It's usually one. Move. Hannah's a fire jumper, and she uh, grew up most likely around a bunch of guys and a family and faith and country and service, and um, and she has and she's also a bit of an adrenaline junkie, and I think everybody that does this job has to be, um, or you wouldn't jump out of a plane into a fire. Um, but she's somebody who has had um, experienced a real tragedy and she feels very responsible for it. When we meet her, she is carrying the, the she's having nightmares, she has PTSD, she has all of that. Um, and she's somebody who I think doesn't think very highly of herself. And so she puts on a quite a brave front that she acts cool, but, um, but really she's a very uh, broken uh, person who carries a, a great deal of guilt. This is a story that on its surface, I think feels like a great thriller and a lot of really interesting characters and a great adventure across um, very an unusual terrain with an unusual um, situation inside a great fire and and so we uh, for all of that I think that is exciting but underneath it um, and what has been really surprising to work on it is it's a really um, it's a very emotional film about people who are a few different people who are in different places in their life who through encountering each other and through going through this this journey together, uh, have a great impact on each other and change and change each other. So there's something very very beautiful about it. So in many ways, she is, she, you know, she saves the boy and the boy saves her. She doesn't know children and she thinks she shouldn't. She doesn't think she's worth living. So to put a person like that with a kid who's who's needing her to save him. She just, she has no faith in herself that she can do that, that she should do that, that she's worth anything. And um, so I think, so through the film, of course, she, she is forced to stay alive. She's forced to connect with the child. She's forced to kind of confront all those things that she fears 
and and feels um, that she's just not capable of and and um, and so kind of emotionally and practically they go through the fire through the midst of all of this big fire and adventure and and um, hitmen and violence and drama there are these these real friendships and real love and real loyalty and and uh, and it's and it's beautiful I am drawn to people who have been through something and are broken and then find their way forward and overcome it I think we all are and and as an artist it's it's kind of very um, it's very healing to play people like that. She's been very healing for me. Because you just, you just get so broken and then you stand back up and you can do that in a character, you can do that in life, you do that telling a story, but somehow you're still doing it and it feels good and you hope the audience gets that same feeling and that same reminder that we can all stand back up. It's a very particular world. It's this part of America. And Taylor um, loves and knows this part of America and represents it. Um, I think with all the the respect, but also the the humor and the kind of idiosyncrasies and the and the grandeur of the parks and the craziness of the friends and the you know. But it's very so. It has a very um, uh, and the poetry of this this part of the world. There's no softness. There's kind of like, so cut the wood and jump over the this and, you know, I, there was one morning it was freezing and the lake was cold and, and he said, just, just, you know, get in and run across it. And I was early and I said, oh, it's really cold. And he said, yeah, <laughs> go in the river, you know? And he was right, just go in, it's freezing. My boots are soggy, I can't climb. We're at altitude, it's exhausting, we're dirty. And I'm so happy to be, uh, to be pushed by somebody to just toughen up and get dirty and sweaty and do things I've never done and, and feel very capable. Taylor taught me how to chop wood and start a fire. <laughs> that was nice. Now he needs to teach me how to ride a horse. It's heavy, I mean, and, there, and what's interesting is you have that moment where like he's on top of me and he's really punching me hard in the face and really beating me up and that stuff that is very, I think, I, I haven't played roles like that where I get beaten up like that. Um, and it was, it didn't feel good to have it done to me. And I could tell the way the set shifted in that moment, it just, you know, rightfully so when we're all standing around and suddenly you think of that kind of violence against women and it makes you, you turns your stomach. Um, but I think that's good and I think it's good that Taylor has those things in the film. I think it's, it's, it's important not just to talk about certain things but to actually see it and both the women in this movie get, we get hurt pretty bad. And we, we fight back but but the brutality is real, and it's not softened, and it shouldn't be. I think this film and this time that we've all spent um, doing a film about people that do this kind of service and live this way is very much a part of America that is very special. Check out futureprevews.com for all latest movies and behind the scenes of movies. And please subscribe to their YouTube channel, Future Previews LLC. Leave comments, likes, and follow them on Instagram, Future Previews LLC. Futureprevews.com. Go behind the scenes of movies. Subscribe to Future Flicks YouTube channel.